the content on the platform at the time was just slow and it was boring and it sort of lulled you to sleep. In what ways were you and your brother competitive with one another? It was mostly sports. I didn't really care about school, but I cared about sports, so I wanted to excel. And uh, I remember the biggest thing was we both played the same exact position, running back and middle linebacker, but he was two years ahead. And so in a weird way, I've still done that up until this day, to be honest. You know, how much money did you have by the time you were 21? Okay, you're 23 and you have X amount of dollars, but I'm 21 and I had more than you did when you were 21. So it was like literally the same thing. And you guys kind of would motivate each yeah. other. Yeah, I think there was parts of it that were super unhealthy, but... In like what? I mean, when you start to m make your life all about success, which I was guilty of before, you know, and, uh, and about growing your wealth, it's just not, it's, it's just not good. It, it, it leads to unhappiness. And so for us, we never had anyone who was successful, right? And all of a sudden, you know, how hard I saw my dad work cleaning gutters, building porches, snow plowing driveways, rebuilding houses with his bare hands. And he would make $60,000 in a year working every single day. And then all of a sudden we would make that in one post on a stupid app for five seconds. We were so motivated to work and grow and work and grow and it became an obsession almost. Speaking of your dad, uh, w one of the best decisions he probably ever made was Christmas 2007. Tell about the handheld video camera. We, we were running backs on, on the football team and my dad got my brother and I one camera to record our football games was the, was the purpose, so that we could watch back the film. Summer rolled around and in Ohio. This is before cell phones. There's nothing to do. My dad has to go do work, and we were you know, too young to work with him at the time. I was probably nine, Logan was 11. One day we just picked up the camera and started recording random stuff outside trying to be like the YouTubers and making funny videos and jokes. And we had a blast doing it. And one, one thing led to another. And I think a couple of weeks later, we had like actually made our first real YouTube video. Once we started filming everything and watching it back uh, on the little computer we had, we were just like be sitting there laughing and laughing and laughing. And then the conversation just came up one day of like, we should make a YouTube channel. And we called it L Dog and J Slice. And you mentioned some of the videos are still online. Some aren't in part because one day Logan says, uh, I want to stop the channel and then deletes a bunch only to later kind of change his mind. What do you remember about each of those instances? Yeah, so Logan was going into high school and he thought the videos were embarrassing. And so one day without telling me, he went on the channel and deleted like maybe 20, 15 to 20 videos of the ones that he didn't think were as good. Mm -hmm. And I remember just like freaking out like, why did you do that? What, like what, wh how could you do that? Th th we worked so hard, you didn't even ask me, you didn't tell me like, what do you mean these videos aren't cool? These are the greatest things ever. They had to be devastating for you at the time. Yeah, but like I, I uh, he was my partner in crime. So yeah, it was like, he checked out and I was upset, but there was nothing I could do about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then uh, not too long after that, there was a change of heart. Yeah, um, to about two years later, Vine came out and I downloaded it the first day and just started 
you know, sort of picked up right where we left off, you know, making Vine videos. And I told my brother about it. He downloads it. We're both just like messing around. We think it's a funny platform. Can we get uh, two tickets to paradise? Or do you not sell them? You're actually making like pretty good content uh, for, at the time. And that's uh, when Logan and I got into a competition immediately <laughs> to see who could get more Vine followers. Worked out pretty well for both of you. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we just started putting more effort into it and we were literally just competing like you know, who can get more followers. And one of the videos that we made uh, went viral like a month later and we were like, holy, like this is crazy, you know were famous. <laughs> in, in your process for creating content was what? In the process of ideation for the videos, it just like has evolved. It went from, you know, messing around and maybe filming a video for 10 minutes to spending days of pre-production to get props, costumes, locations, to film a six second video <laughs> and editing it for a day after that and then posting it. So they just got better and better and better and better and just put way more effort into it. And whether Vine or later YouTube, it, the, the process was pretty consistent throughout. Exactly. The reason we were so successful on YouTube when we came into, into YouTube was the content on the platform at the time was just slow and it was boring and it sort of lulled you to sleep if you would sit there and watch someone's 15 to 20 minute video. So when I came in, I was like, I'm gonna make this 15 minute video, just a bunch of vines, six, you know, six to 30 seconds at a time because people's attention span are very short. And so I wanted something new to happen on camera every 30 seconds, every 45 seconds, every minute to keep the audience engaged and it worked.